We have some breaking news to tell you out of Springfield this morning. The subject of the leak at the Illinois Gaming Board is also tied to an ongoing federal corruption investigation. We told you last week how an employee at the Gaming Board leaked highly confidential information about a license holder to the federal government. We now know who that person is. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in our Springfield newsroom this morning with these new developments that are breaking. Mark, what can you tell us? Aaron, good morning. The person at the center of this leak at the gaming board is also in the crosshairs of the big ongoing FBI corruption investigation. When the feds raided former state Senator Martin Sandoval's offices last fall, they brought a search warrant with them that included a search warrant for any records relating to Rick Heidner and his video gaming company, Gold Rush Gaming. Weeks later, Heidner's name would show up in the Chicago Tribune. That's because he was angle, angling for a horse racing uh, track and a casino in the Chicago suburbs. But he lost out on that after the paper reported his close ties to uh, a banker who was previously trying to co uh, covertly bring in some unsavory characters into a failed casino several years ago. In the wake of that reporting, someone at the gaming board apparently took it upon themselves to hand over Heidner's personal information to the feds. That's the backdrop of this whole leak we've been telling you about. Now Heidner is suing the Illinois Gaming Board for negligence and for a data breach of information that included his bank records, social security number, driver's license information, and other highly sensitive personal financial information. That lawsuit seeks damages for $4 million in damages. It's only the latest friction and public fight between Heidner and the Gaming Board. The Gaming Board moved to nix his video gaming license in December. The board said his $5 million offer to a string of video game cafes amounted to a, quote, illegal inducement. Now, Heidner has been fighting that ruling. He says he's done nothing wrong. He runs uh, nearly 500 of these video gaming terminals, mostly in the Chicago area and western suburbs. Uh, he has not been charged with a crime. That's the latest. We have more up on WCIA.com. Aaron. And, Mark, the gaming board has not yet responded to our requests for a response to this lawsuit. That's correct. It's still early, but we hope that they will have a, more information for us throughout the day. All right, Mark, thanks for that.